Automation Anywhere has just launched its latest .33 release and I'm excited to show you the top 5 developer features. We will explore everything from game-changing features to essential additions, counting down all the way from number 5 to my personal favorite. Let's jump in and see what this release brings us to the table. Starting with number five, we have introduced the ability to automate processes that combine admin and non-admin user workflows. This feature will allow you to automate browser applications all within a single user session, but requiring varying levels of application level access all within the single automation workflow. For example, if you have a user who may have to create a record and validate, but also an admin users who would have to provide approvals, all this can be done within a single automation. Moving on to number four, advanced debugging. With this feature, you can now debug complex multi-level automations. We have introduced the step in and step out features to navigate between the child and the parent automations during debugging. We have introduced call stack that helps you determine the order in which the automations are called and also to navigate between the parent and the child automations. The call stack lists the automations that are currently active, both parent and child automations, along with the line number and the folder in which they reside in. Now, let's talk about the watched variables for a second. Users can add, view, and edit the watched variables of the current automation during debugging. And here's a neat feature. There's a detailed view for these watched variables. It's like a quick cheat sheet that shows you all the properties of each variable, its type, its input, its output, and also whether it's a constant or not. All right, let's move on to number three in our list, enhanced automation templates. Imagine walking into a control room and then you see a bunch of ready-made templates available for you to use. That's what we have done. These templates are designed to be your starting point for your automation so that you can just take one of them, customize it, make changes and make it your own. You already knew that we had the templates for task bots. We have expanded on that. Now you can create and use process templates as well. With this feature, we would like to emphasize focusing on automating complex process end-to-end -end automations rather than just looking at simple task-based automations. With this .33 release, we have already added these templates to your control room. However, if there's a new template available in Bot Store, you can also log into your Bot Store account and directly download to your control room and use it. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of this. Just log into your control room, go to the Automations tab and click on the Create button. In the dropdown, you will see From Template option. This is where you will have to go to see the list of templates available. Just click on that from template option and you will see the whole list of predefined templates available for you to use both for task bots and also for processes. And here's a neat feature we have added. Sometimes you might want to know where this template came from. If you see the Automation Anywhere logo on the template card, that means it's one of ours. You can also create and save your own templates and share it with other developers for use within your organization. Moving on to number two, Autopilot. Autopilot is powered by generative AI that turns business process descriptions into ready to use automation anywhere code. We have fine-tuned the AI models and loaded them with specialized prompts and a deep understanding of how Automation Anywhere code works. What you get is a full automation outline ready with correct structure and the commands. Here is how the workflow looks like. The business analyst exports the PDD from process discovery to COE manager. 
The COE lead then reviews the opportunity and then assigns it to a developer for generating the automation. Developer can generate the automation with a click of a button and then proceed to modify it as needed to complete this exercise. Saving the best for the last. My favorite feature for this release is AI Agent Studio. It is our latest generative AI powered automation that helps organizations easily build intelligent applications. It addresses common issues such as identifying the right AI model, tracking the data exchange, and also ensuring accurate responses. The AI Agent Studio product suite consists of AI tools and AI governance. First, let's talk about the AI tools. You can experiment with various foundational models from top vendors such as Amazon Bedrock, Google Vertex AI, Azure OpenAI, and also OpenAI. And then identify the best fit for your needs and create reusable prompt templates with seamless integration all within the Automation 360 control room. You can then invoke these templates using the generative AI prompt template package within your automations. Now, coming to AI governance. You can ensure only approved models are used to meet your compliance and regulatory standards. And it keeps a watchful eye on all the data going back and forth with robust monitoring and auditing during automation execution. That concludes our overview of the top five features in the DOT 33 release. Keep an eye out for the upcoming training material on our university portal, including the hands-on exercises to help you master these new capabilities. Now it's your turn. We would like to know which is your favorite feature in this release. Do let us know your favorite feature in the comment section below, and we are looking forward to your comments. I am Arjun S. Meda. Thanks for watching and go be great.